All right. Yeah. So we're here. Hi. Hi. So please hi. introduce yourself. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Karimaga Borchkin and I'm from University of Tsukuba. Uh, we are demonstrating 3D displays here and uh, it's glass free. And uh, you can see uh, the 3D images without wearing special glasses or goggles. So what am I seeing here? Yeah, you are seeing uh, a 3D virtual scouts floating uh, off the screen and in hands reach. How does it? Is that magic? No, How does no. It work? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's always not magic. Uh, we display multi-view image on the uh, back screen and uh, using the lens array and the large aperture lens to distribute them to different angles. So wow. then uh, the multi multiple viewpoints are generated around here. Nice. Yes, and you can observe them with the binocular parallax and motion parallax. That's so cool. Yeah, thank you. So this one is uh, with a is with a similar structure and it's a virtual image type. So which means the 3D images will be constructed far behind the display. Constructed behind the display. Uh, no, 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 no. It means the the depths will be uh, far behind. <laughs> so okay. it's it's just for depths, the viewing depths, not the so the. Viewing angle may be a little narrower in the display because Can I film from the side. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. there is nothing at the side. So you have uh, all the different views. Yes. How many yes. views do you have? Uh, we have eleven in the horizontal and uh, six in the vertical. And what's happened here? Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, amazing. Uh, we we are using uh, this kind of uh, transmissive display, like this. You can see my hands. Yes and the uh, transmissive display here and we use it two layers two and layers. yeah which side i have to look yeah you, you can see yeah it's a transmissive display you can see my hand now yeah. hello <laughs> yeah 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 and which means the layered the image plane will make a two layered real image uh, here and with a uh, different depths so we call it volumetric imaging which means 3d images with volume and this, this, this uh, device is like a one, one plus one, integral imaging plus volumetric imaging. And those two are uh, normal integral imaging with uh, one layer of real and virtual image. Nice. Yeah. Uh, is there a way that your technology could be used for a huge holographic home display that everybody yes, will I have? Think, I think we can. You can? Yeah, yeah, I think we can, but we haven't tried it that. But to have it huge, you need a much bigger back, back yeah, thing? We, we need to... Because need the screen is... Yes. The whole area? Yes. So so it's just yes, making we, a bigger one? Yeah. Actually, we need a big, big uh, uh, monitor to display the view images. And we also need a big lens array and a large aperture lens. Yes, I think we can do that. And the, the lens array, you can do it? Yes. Like you just need... Do you, what do you need the, the display supplier to do? Do they uh, need to provide you with something special? Uh, no, that you want? no, I think uh, we can use the normal uh, displays they are selling. It, it, uh, as soon as they have a big uh, size and uh, high resolution. Does it help to have more brightness? Yeah, exactly. Uh, especially the uh, micro LED display for... AK. Yeah, yeah, and we, we, we love that and we want to use it uh, with a large size and uh, high resolution. Also, we make a big lens array and I think we can uh, generate a big 3D displays. And, and uh, the little lights that I see around, is it possible yes. to get rid of those? Uh, actually, we are working on that because the light environment is a little bit com uh, complicated and the reflection is a, li a little bit huge. It's so better in a dark room? Yeah, if in a dark room, it, the, the image will be purer. Pure? Yeah, huge. Especially nice. the skull floating here, it will be more pure. You need to close the whole thing around? Yeah, that will be fine, but uh, we are considering to do some uh, adjustment to the lens array or AR coating or something to uh, eliminate the def uh, reflection nice. as soon as we can. <laughs> and what, what do you show here in this paper? Yeah, so uh, the integral imaging is uh, it's an old technique, but I think it's attractive. But 
uh, the new, the innovation part of our uh, demonstration is the uh, elemental interleaved lenses. The normal lens, uh, normal lens, it's a Fresnel, and it's uh, it, the, the same of the lens array will be distinct. So we use a new designed uh, structure. It's it's interleaved. The prism is interleaved. So the light will be mixed, and uh, uh, the seam of the lens array, each of the lens will be less distinct. That helps us to get a high, a better image quality, and uh, especially with the, the real image device, uh, the, the transition with, uh, between view and view will be more smoother. So, be like that, and uh, we are... <laughs> so we did these devices. So do you like the devices? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, thank and you. What do you do with the team? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm actually from the uh, Visual Media Lab of, of uh, University of Tsukuba, and uh, uh, these works are our uh, lab's teamwork. So uh, we are also considering other uh, direction of the research. So for example, to make it small and make it like a see-through AR display. Yes, that's our future work see through yeah see through so which means uh, like a, like a, you can see the environment uh, escape or, or and and you, and you also can see the ar content see through yes cool. yes and uh, especially for this uh, device we want to combine it with a haptic system to make a virtual uh, button so the haptic system will give you the haptic feedback and the word, uh, the our display can give you the uh, image of the 3D, 3D. So you can touch it uh, and with the f uh, haptic feedback, but you actually didn't, uh, you actually you're not touching them because it's virtual. Yeah, nice. I think we, we think that's cool. You need to make him laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. Actually, we have a CG on here and uh, I will show you, give me a sec. Yes, we have a Hatsune Miku dancing there. Oh, well. There's a girl in the box? Yes, a <laughs> girl in the box. <laughs> What's the resolution right now for each? each yeah, it's uh, like uh, 400 uh, times 400. It's not very high because uh, the, w the number of view is uh, large and the resolution of the monitor is not very high. It's, it's just 4K? 4K, yeah. We want to use it. Uh, use 8K. A 8K or... Or 16. 16K, yeah. Just right. call them. Yeah, yeah. Just make phone call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's call them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be doing a video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays, OLED, LCD light box, ads machine. So thanks a lot. I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices. Thanks a lot for watching. Check them out.